What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our 2023 schedule preview and projected record series. The Arizona Wildcats are up next, a team that uh, showed some improvement last year getting to 5-7 and seven, and I think they could make another jump this year, but is that schedule, is that schedule going to give them the chance? They played some good teams pretty close last year, uh, you know, very close, very close to making it to a bowl game. Uh, but this is the schedule for 2023. Uh, they will open up with Northern Arizona on September the 2nd. Then they'll go on the road to face Mississippi State. UTEP on the 16th. Then on the road at Stanford on September 23rd. They'll play Washington on September 30th at home. The USC on the road on October 7th. Although that game, the schedule says that it could be Friday or Saturday. So that could be the 6th. Uh, if they don't play that on Friday, they will not have any weeknight games, which is kind of a surprise for a Pac-12 team. They usually have one or two in there, but uh, if they play that game on Saturday, every game will be on Saturday, which is interesting. They'll play Washington State on the road on October the 14th. Then they get their bye week before playing Oregon State on the 28th. UCLA on November 4th, then on the road at Colorado on the 11th. That'll be an interesting game there. Utah on the 18th at home, and they close things out with Arizona State on the road on November 25th. So you look at this schedule, and uh, first thing, you look at the non-conference. Mississippi State's going to be a challenge on the road. Mississippi State won last year, but that I think that that is a, a potential upset game. I don't know about going on the road, but I think Arizona uh, maybe can compete in that game. That'll be really interesting there. You look at who they play in the Pac-12. Um, you know, a pretty tough draw, but they don't play Oregon. That's the good news. They do play USC, Utah, and Washington. Uh, and then also play Oregon State and UCLA as well. So you're talking about playing five of the six best teams in the Pac-12. Uh, but again, avoiding Oregon. At least there's some good news, I guess, there. Uh, let's get to the projection and see if our projection is going to have them getting to a bowl game. Uh, keep in mind, this is not my prediction. I'm still a long ways away from doing any official predictions. This is simply a projection based off of really how good the teams were last year making minor adjustments to that uh, it, based off of who's coming back and then just going and putting that up against the schedule and how tough the schedule is. So uh, this is the scale that we use. If it's a 50-50 game, it'll stay in the white. If it's under 20 over 80, those are games where I think the spread will be 20 or more. 20 to 29, 71 to 80, those are games where I think the spread will be double digits. 30 to 39, 61 to 70, those are games where I think the spread will be about a touchdown, six, seven, eight points in that range so let's get to it you got an easy couple a couple of easy wins northern arizona and utep uh, i believe arizona has now gotten to the level where they they take care of business they roll in games like this uh you know a few years ago maybe you question the utep game and maybe that one should have been in the blue but i'm gonna put both of these games in the green i think arizona will roll uh, and again be big favorites in both matchups then we go to uh games where they're gonna be pretty big underdogs i think washington usc utah all three of these games, they're probably going to be double-digit underdogs, 14, 16, 17, 18 points, somewhere kind of in that range. So those will be tough. Uh, again, they were competitive in some of these types of games last year. USC was a one-score game. I think Washington was fairly close, if I remember correctly. So you never know, but I do think they'll be big underdogs in those three games. And then not quite as big of an underdog, but they will be about a touchdown underdog against Mississippi State on the road, Washington State on the road. They get Oregon State and UCLA both at home. They will be underdogs in those games. But I tell you what, I think Arizona will win one of these four games, at least one of these four games. I'm going to go ahead and give you a, a, a prediction spoiler there. I think they pull off an upset in one of these four games, and that's really what the odds would, would tell us they would do. Um, basically, if you've got three of these games in the yellow, the odds would, would say that Arizona is going to win one of the three. So with four, yeah, the odds would say they're going to win one. And uh, we'll see which one that is. Again, Oregon State and UCLA at home could be big. Uh, Stanford, Colorado, and Arizona State all on the road, all 50-50 games. I think that Arizona will be better than Stanford and Arizona State, but those games are on the road, and that's why they're in the 50-50 category. Colorado, I have no idea. Um, you know, They weren't very good last year. It's on the road. They're going to be better this year. We're just going to put that one as a 50-50 game as well. So these three games really could go either way. Uh, you win those three games, though. You take care of business against Northern Arizona and UTEP. You get one of those games in the yellow, and that's how you get to a bowl game. But 
Let's say they do win one of those games in the yellow, but they don't win all their 50-50 games. They lose one of those. It could be five and seven again. So that's you know that's what we're looking at here, and that's what the odds would, would say is going to happen. They will go five and seven, uh, like I just kind of mentioned. It's, it's basically what the odds would tell us. They're going to uh, win one of these games in the yellow, probably. Uh, maybe two, and they're going to win one or two of these games in, in the white. So to get to a bowl game, you've got to win two 50-50 games and two games where you're a, a touchdown underdog, and that's going to be tough. And again, the projection would put them at five and seven, just missing out on a bowl game just like last year. I think they might be able to get there, though. I just I have some confidence in this team. I like what, what they're doing. I like what they've got coming back. Um, I think they could be a surprise team, not a team that's going to get to 9 or 10 wins, but a team that could at least get to a bowl game. But if you put in the formula, you look at all these numbers, uh, they are projected to go 5-7 and seven in 2023.